and uh, we shall wait for more people to show up. Hey, Michael. Hey, everybody. Uh, I see 23 people on, 24 people on. We are slowly climbing in numbers, but we shall wait a little bit longer. We'll, we will have time. OK. Let's give it like another minute or two. OK, I see 30 people on. Um, I think it's safe to say that I can start probably. All right, here we go. So what I'm sharing with you guys right now is uh, the website for your classroom for arts. And I posted this this morning. It's basically four options here. And I just want to explain what each of these four options are. Now, I've been splitting this up. Uh, via grade level. So for example, um, if I pick this one right here, this is what kindergarten and first grade did. What they did this morning was they used my dice. So I, we used two dice, by the way. And the reason why we used two dice is so they had two options to pick from. So just in case if they didn't like the first option. So what we did was that we did six rounds of rolling the dice. And with those six rounds, we added more and more stuff to our snowman. So that's what kindergarten did. Now, for the next grade, uh, we had second and third grade earlier. And what they did was the reindeer version of this game. So kind of similar to what the snowman game was, uh, they still had to do six rounds of rolling the dice. But instead of a snowman, it was a reindeer. So you can see the options are all different. So different noses, different mouths, different antlers, and stuff like that. Now, there is a bonus one I posted here. But the reason why we're not doing it or no one else is doing it is because it's a little easy. Um, the reason why I just posted this, just in case if anyone want to do it at home with maybe even younger siblings. And it's a gingerbread person. So I thought that would be pretty cool if you have any younger siblings you want to try it with. Maybe they're in preschool or younger. So that one's pretty cool. All right, for us, we're going to be doing something more advanced, obviously, because we are third grade, uh, sorry, fifth grade. And it's Roll the L. So I'm going to stop sharing this one, and I think I'm going to share this one instead. All right, so instead of having six rounds of rolling the dice, we will only have four rounds of rolling the dice. However, we will be going a little slower with our rolls because we only have four options, and the options are pretty detailed. All right, so with that said, uh, what you're going to need is something to draw with and uh, something to draw on. It could be like a whiteboard. It could be um, a piece of paper. It could even be a note, a uh, Post-it note. All you need is something to write with and something to draw with. That's all you need. Um, if you want to use your own dice for rolling, uh, you're allowed to. And I will keep this page zoomed out so you guys can see your options in case we don't roll the same numbers. Um, and with that said, I will continue to use two dices. That way, um, it will become easier for you guys to select which one you like better. All right, so with that said, let me just flip my camera down real quick. All right, so now you're seeing my table right here. As you can see, um, there's two elves already here. So as you can see, this is what we uh, came up with with Mrs. Littner and Mrs. Weiss's class right here. This one over here is from the last fifth grade group. So Mrs. Gazowskis, 5P and 5S is what they did. And since I'm showing you guys already, I might as well show you guys the other elf that we did. So this one's from Ms. Blaylock and Mrs. Uh, Kern's class. And that's it. So let's start off a new page for you guys right here. And since you guys are the last class of the day, I think I can make it a little bit larger. All right, so let's start off with round number one. And round number one for us is the head of the elf and the hat. So here we go. I'm going to roll my two dices so we can have two options here. All right, so I rolled a two and a three. Um, at this time, if you have your own dice, you can roll now. So with a two, the hat has kind of a swooshing motion towards the back. And number three has a little bit of hair towards the back and the front. and has pointier ears. So for me, I think I'm going to choose number three. For you guys, you can select anything you want, unless you want to copy the dice that I have here. That's why I rolled for you guys. And I'll go with that. Now, I would zoom in, but um, I'm not sure um, who's 
using their own dice, so I will not zoom in. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit and a little bit, but uh, let me finish what I'm doing first. All right, so here's one ear. I'm going to do the other ear on the opposite side. Here I go. Do the chin. And then let me just do the hat. So the hat's kind of like a bent rectangle all the way across from ear to ear. And then it looks like the end of the hat's over here. So I'm going to connect it with a line going up and back down. And then half that's this way, and then the other hat's this direction. All right, let me do the lines for the hair. Looks like there's some lines going this direction. And there's some lines going this direction or behind the hair, or behind the ear, I should say. And then some hair here, and then some hair going this direction. All right. That wasn't too bad. All right. I will wait a little tad bit. I don't want to go too fast. Anyways, round number two is actually pretty easy. It's just the mouth and the eyes and the nose. All right. I did promise you guys I'll zoom in a tad bit, but not for too long because I don't know who's looking at what. So here is a zoomed in version of options number two and three. But for a couple seconds, then I'll zoom back out. So number two was like the swooshing hat, and then number three had like the hair everywhere. All right, I will zoom out again, just in case if you had your own dice. There we are. Okay, next roll is going to be for the face. So here we go. Let's see what my options are. All right, my options are number two, and number five. All right, you can probably see it on your screen with the presentation going up. I think I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose number five because I think I did number two for the previous class. Uh, yep. Yeah, I did number two for the previous class, so I wanna I want do something different. So I will do number five. And if you don't like either of those options, um, it's okay, you're allowed to make your own decisions if you'd like. The rules aren't that strict. There you go. And I did change it up a tad bit just so I can make it a tad bit cuter. There we are. That was option number five. I just spread things out a little bit, just so it wasn't so squished up. All right, our next one is uh, the body. So this is probably gonna be the one that takes us the most time, because it looks like there's a lot of detail. All right, I rolled a five, and I also rolled a two. And I think I have drawn both of them before. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, let's see. I think I rolled number five for the first group I did it with. Yeah, for Miss Blaylock and Miss Curran's class. So I did it for them. And it doesn't look like I did number two, which is great. So I think my choice will be number two. All right, so that's what I'm going to do for my choice. So here I go. I'm going to do the body first. Go down. And then I think I'm going to change mine up a little bit. I think I'm going to make mine a little more of a skirt version. So I'm just going to curl it a little bit on each end. It looks like a skirt. There we go. I'm going to create the loops by the neck. And then a wavy line down the middle. All right, it looks like they're wearing mittens and the hands are up. So I'll try to copy it the best I can. All right, and here is my other arm for the other one. And there we are. My body is done for those options. All right, I am unfortunately gonna have to move on. I'm looking at the time right now. 
and I don't want to run out of time. So this new part is going to be for the, let's see, the shoes, the shoes and the legs. I know I keep getting two. I don't know why. I'm rolling them. I don't know what's going on. Here we go. Ah, oh, snake eyes. I don't want that. So let me just leave one of those up, and I'll roll the other one. Snake eyes again. All right, five. Wow, I'm getting five a lot, too. All right, so option number one, it looks like uh, a pair of boots with striped, straight striped legs and icicles by the ankles by of the boots. And then number five, it looks like uh, one bent knee, a long type of uh, ankle part of the sock, I guess, or the shoe, and then really bent uh, up shoes. So I think I might do option number five because I'm pretty sure I did boots for one of the other classes. I think I did it for the first one. Yep, I did boots already. I did boots already for the first one already. So I'm going to choose option number five, which I rolled, and I will do one straight leg. I'll just do it down this direction. And one bent leg. So this leg is a little bent. There we go. There's no stripes on the stockings. So I'll just go straight to the ankles. Looks like I'm going to be running out of paper here, though. So I got to be careful. All right, one bent foot or one bent shoe. And then the other bent shoe. All right, there we go, and yes, that's what I thought. My camera was a little off. There we go. Moved it up a tad bit, and I'm going to label this one uh, 5V and 5W. That way I know which class I made this one with. And that's it. So that is the randomized dice game I did with you guys, and that's the elf that we came up with. As you can see, it looks very different compared to the other classes. And if you guys are wondering, if you guys do decide to do this with other groups, um, I can show you guys what they did. Miss Moore, Miss Kumblad's class. This is the, the reindeer that they came up with, pretty neat. Um, here's the reindeers from Eglin and Jordan and Mrs. Navarre, Miss Bothman Zuckerman. And I think we did one more reindeer. Yeah, here it is. Miss Russell and Mrs. Poole's class. In first grade, we did snowmen, so Miss Runnick's class. Here's Miss Setti's class and Mrs. Lowe's class. And then for kindergarten, we did Ms. Manuel and Mrs. Rinaldi's class. That's their snowman. And last but not least, this is what the snowman is for Miss Ochoa's and Ms. Demarai's class. So this project is pretty fun. All you need is a pair of dice and those uh, printouts that uh, I sent to you guys. And that's it. We have two minutes left. Um, if anyone wants to share anything, I will stop sharing this screen so the tiles get bigger. There we go. Now you can see more faces on the screen. And does anyone want to share any artwork? It could be the elf. It could be any other artwork. All right, I'm going to pick Andres. Go ahead. Um, yesterday, um, I was drawing one of the my Fortnite characters. Oh, neat. That's really detailed. That's a really good job. Awesome job. Good work. All right, anyone else want to share? Uh, Gabriel, go ahead. Oh, neat. Can you hold it up a tad bit closer so I can see? Oh, yeah. That looks really cute. Good work. All right, I do see a lot more hands up, so we still have time. Uh, Nick, go ahead. Nick wants to share. Um, it's a little hard to see. Uh, let me try to pin you. Oh, I see it now. Really neat. Cool. All right, um, Devin, go ahead. Would you like to share? Ooh, another hard one to see. Um, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Devin. I'm going to be honest with you. I can't see it. I'm sorry, Devin. It's too hard to see. No, that's not helping anything. I accidentally erased it. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was wondering why I couldn't see anything. All right, it is 1.30, so it is time to go. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Uh, Mr. Mel, can I show you something really cool really fast? 
Sure. Because I thought that I didn't do too good on my elf, I tried to turn it into a creepy elf. Oh, cool. And I see Riley Mitchell is drawing too. Thanks for sharing, both of you guys. All right, I really do gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, let me stop recording. Stop.